How's it going guys? We have a past level question for pharmacology for step one. Not going to be a lengthy clip, I'll just focus exactly on the high yield points you need to know, not waste our time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, the links down below. Find me on Telegram, the links to the Telegram group and channel are down below and I'll start the clip. So a 29 year old man, two day history of fever and chills. He's an IV drug user. Febrile at 103 Fahrenheit. He has mitral regurgitation, okay, a three on six hole systolic murmur at the fourth intercostal space left midclavicular line. So this is clearly endocarditis. Yes, you can get tricuspid regurg in endocarditis, but this is uh, mitral regurg nevertheless, going to be staph aureus. Blood cultures are obtained, IV antibiotics are, are commenced. 48 hours later, he complains the room is spinning. An agent, I wrote any agent here, an agent, okay, so you know what I'm not going to do right now? is restart the whole fucking clip to delete this little Y here. An agent that inhibits which the following is uh, the most likely explanation for these findings. So let's just whip through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Choice F, P450, mediated demethylation, wrong fucking answer. This refers to azoles, okay, e.g. fluconazole, antifungals. So the conversion of lenostrol to ergostrol, the latter being the cholesterol equivalent in the fungal cell membrane. They'll just say in a, this wording, this phrasing, blindside students because they're not familiar with it. This is on the NBME exams. So they'll say, e.g., fluconazole is administered. What does it do? And the answer is just inhibits P450 mediated demethylation. Okay. So that's 14 demethylase, that enzyme there. Wrong fucking answer. Choice Z, Diala, Diala, wrong answer. So this is vancomycin. So vancomycin uh, targets gram positives, okay, targets cell wall. You can get enterococcus becoming VRE, vancomycin resistant enterococci, and you're going to get a transition of Diala Diala, goes to Diala Dilac, okay, lactate, not, not lactose, all right? So it's just buzzy. It's not high yield, but you could just be aware of it. Vancomycin in theory could cause red man syndrome, OMG, okay? In, uh, that's going to be histamine release. I don't think I've ever really seen it assessed. Maybe like one question tops. It's not high yield. Students get hysterical about details like those. Wrong fucking answer. Choice D, DNA gyrus, wrong answer. This is just another name for uh, prokaryotic topoisomerase two and four. If we have eukaryotic topoisomerase, we don't call it DNA gyrus. So this would be fluoroquinolones, such as ciprofloxacin, levofloxacin. Uh, these cause cartilage damage, classically Achilles tendonitis. You could be aware that ciprofloxacin, two important use cases are pyelonephritis and prostatitis. Levofloxacin is a respiratory fluoroquinolone, can be used in certain instances in ammonia. Don't really want to go down that route right now. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, dihydrofolate reductase, wrong answer. Uh, this refers to methotrexate and pure methamine and trimethoprim, but Methotrexate, highest yield drug being uh, first line DMARD for rheumatoid arthritis, can also be used for systemic psoriasis, patients who have uh, psoriatic arthritis or patients who fail topicals for psoriasis. Uh, methotrexate causes pulmonary fibrosis, okay, that's high yield. Uh, also, so restrictive lung disease and RA, for instance, uh, can cause hepatotoxicity, neutropenia. Neutropenia presents as mouth ulcers, all right? Wrong fucking answer. Choice B, 50S, ribosomal subunit, wrong answer. So uh, this could refer to macrolides, linozolid, clindamycin, chloramphenicol, okay? What are we going to do? 19-minute chat of all the little details about every antibiotic, etc. Point is, it's fucking wrong. Choice A, 30S. Actually, I will just quickly, because some of you are going to get real emotional right now. If I don't say at least one detail for this, you could be aware macrolides cause GI disturbance. Diarrhea, constipation, that's what macrolides do, such as azithromycin, erythromycin, okay? Chloramphenicol, gray baby syndrome. Clindamycin is used for uh, pulmonary abscesses. Linizolid, non-existent, and eosinole. Choice A, 30S, correct answer. So this refers to aminoglycosides. So the empiric treatment for endocarditis is going to be vancomycin, which targets gram positives, plus gentamicin, which which covers gram negatives. Okay, vancomycin plus gentamicin. There are, there are other regimens, yes, but that's a high yield regimen. All right, so vancomycin plus gentamicin is what we use for endocarditis. For meningitis, vancomycin plus ceftriaxone plus or minus steroids. Okay, but vancomycin plus gentamicin. Aminoglycosides, they can cause acute tubular necrosis. They can cause 
ototoxicity. So it need not be tinnitus. It can be the room is spinning. It can be vertigo. All right. So that's high yield for uh, amino glycosides. So gentamicin, the highest yield one, tobramycin, amikacin. Okay. Amikacin, a weird sounding amino glycoside, shows up on one of the NBME exams. All right. So nothing dramatic. 30S also tetracyclines unrelated here. Long discussion. All right. So some dense pharmacology. I said this is past level. You know, I know some of you are learning this the first time. You don't think that this is super easy, but you should know straight up that this is endocarditis. You should know vancomycin plus gentamicin used. And even if you didn't know the empiric therapy, even if you didn't know that, if you knew your antibiotics well, their mechanisms, their side effects, you could just infer. You'd say, well, I know that uh, gentamicin's ototoxic can cause vertigo. It doesn't have to be tinnitus or hearing loss. That's 30S inhibition. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.